Hi everyone, this is a short video showcasing my trail renderer. I saw a lot of you are quite interested in this node and how it works and uh, I've decided to uh, first change the implementation a little bit to allow for a much easier integration and I'm going to show you how to use it and how to get it to your project. So in a new project we're going to create a simple spatial node. We're going to call it world. We are going to add another spatial node and we're going to call it trails and another camera node so that we can see our trails being rendered. I'm going to rotate the camera so that it, it will look slightly down and then I'm going to lift it up and we're going to create all our trails over here. So to get the trails to um, be in our project, we're going to go to the GitHub page of uh, the trail renderer. I've added the link to this GitHub page in the description, so go there. You can download the code uh, by using download zip. So after downloading, unzipping uh, the files, I simply copied the entire directory to my new project and we are really only interested in one script and the script is under trail render script class there's this script here and the way it is implemented is by just saving it into our scene we can now go to our node control type trail renderer and we already have it here so I'll add the trail render to our scene and we can start playing with it so when you first import a, a new trail render you have the following parameters the width which controls how wide the trail is going to be the width curve which is uh, a curve object and it is going to control uh, how will the width behave when we get further away from the curve origin so this curve is going to keep the width the same for the entire drawing of the trail the maximum number of points controls how long our trail is going to be and material which we are going to leave blank for now controls how the trail looks so I'm going to take the camera and maybe slightly uh, lowering it a little bit taking it some slightly to the back and I'm going to attach a script to our trails object because we want everything to move forward uh, unless uh, we do it we will not see the trail so I'm just going to add uh, a new empty scene a new empty script and this simple function will just continuously move our trails object forward. So now we can press play. You can see we have a trail here. If we want a longer trail, we can simply increase the number of points. If we want a bigger one, we can increase the width. If we want the trail to change the width when we get away, this will cause the trail to decrease in width the longer, uh, it, the further away from the origin of the trail it is. We can even add some more points and create some interesting behaviors. So this will cause it to very quickly go to maximum width and at the end go to zero. So we get this shape of the graph and you can really imagine this graph is going to be drawn here on the, the trail so we can create a very complex shape. And now if you run, 
see we get the exact shape of the graph which is pretty nice I'm going to clear this for now and create another very normal looking graph and we're going to start looking at the material so the material as you can see supports uh, all the types of materials you want to use we can simply add a spatial material uh, and change the albedo and this is going to create a red trail you can create custom shader materials if you want so we can clear this material add a new shader material so this is a very basic material the material is a spatial one we add the uniform color so we can control uh, the color of the trail from the editor we simply override the fragment uh, function we change the albedo to uh, the color and we change the alpha to be 1 minus the uh, y coordinate of our uv which means the longer the further away we get from the trail origin we are going to start being more and more transparent and um, it is now uh, let's change the color with the uniform editor and let's give it like this green color and now if we run you can see we have a trail that is getting more and more transparent and with the color green and now I want to show you how the trail behaves when it moves around for that purpose I'm going to add another spatial node I'm going to call it gimbal we're going to put our trail render inside gimbal and we're going to attach a script to the gimbal node we're going to override the process function and we're going to do two things first of all we're going to take the rotation in degrees of gimbal on the z-axis and we're going to add to it um, simply 30 times delta which means it's going to rotate at a rate of 30 angles per second and we are also going to create a variable called time we'll initialize it to be 0 and here we're going to add delta to time and we're going to set the translation in the y-axis of our gimbal to be sine of time which means it's going to uh, go between minus 1 and 1 and we're going to slightly increase this uh, oscillation to be between minus, minus 3 and 3 and now if you run you see that the trail goes up and down and rotates to finish off I can duplicate this trail and I can rotate it 90 degrees the Z axis and now we'll have this nice plus sign maybe change the color now we have this beautiful trail being rendered and moving up and down if you are interested in what uh, this effect can accomplish uh, I will add a link to a video that I'm uh, showing uh, a dogfight uh, game in 3D which uses this trail renderer for um, some effects and uh, yeah that's it hope this is helpful to you guys and uh, if you have any questions or suggestions uh, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will uh, answer them uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos and uh, have a nice day goodbye